Today I am doing a video all about washing and rinsing your, you know, box braids if you got like the, the um, you know, single like big box braids. I'm going to be talking about how to properly wash and condition your hair while they're in these braids. And I'm also going to be talking about how to rinse out that chemical that comes on synthetic hair that can cause like the, you know, the itching and the burning and the stinging and all of that stuff because I have really sensitive skin and I have a really sensitive scalp. So whenever I get braids or weaves or anything like that, I tend to have some kind of reaction, but I have a rinse that always, 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 always knocks it right out. And once I do this rinse, um, my braids pretty much are fine. <laughs> All you need is apple cider vinegar and the other thing you need is water. Once you have that, all you need is a drop bottle, which I'm about to show you all of that. And so first thing you're gonna need is a drop bottle. And that is so that you can get like into like the, you know, really get into like where the braids are touching your scalp. Um, so this is like, you can get it for like one or $2. You're gonna need a spray bottle. You can get this at the same place. As you see, it's the same brand, Salon Care. The most important thing you're gonna need is this um, apple cider vinegar. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what brand. This is if you have to use the same thing I do. This is the White House brand since 1908. I never do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just all natural from fresh apples, no GMOs, organic apple cider vinegar. This is what you're gonna need to. Um, get the chemicals out of the synthetic hair and off your scalp. So if anything, this is what you need, if, it, if anything. So, this is the Dove Dermacare Scalp, so it's anti-dandruff, dryness, and itch relief shampoo. So this isn't a shampoo that is going to, you know, it's not your like black shampoo. This is something that I use really when my hair is in a style like this because it just like cleanses that scalp off. Like you will have no flakes. It will stop itching. You don't have to use this exact brand. Like you could probably use Sulfur 8 or you can use um, Head and Shoulders. Anything that's gonna like get rid of flakes, get rid of itchiness, dryness to kind of just clarify. So first thing I do is I take my drop bottle and I add um, some apple cider vinegar. But you could probably do a little less than this. I'm, I'm seriously, you could probably use less. That this was too much. Don't do this. Then I'm just gonna fill this up with water and. Then I'm just gonna kind of like do like drops throughout my head. So like, oh God, I didn't think this through, okay? But yeah, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take the drop top and like, is this not called a drop top? I feel like that's like a car. I keep calling it a drop top. This isn't a drop top. This is a drop bottle, a, a drop, I don't know, a dropper and full of, oh. It smells so bad, but it feels so good. So I'm gonna move this to the shower. I'm about to rinse this out, and um, the way I typically rinse braids is I hold them like this, and then just let the water hit my scalp that way like the ends are getting wet because the thing about braids is they they take forever to dry so I just did the center and I take my hair like this and then I get the side I did this side then I take the hair and then I get this side So the vinegar is all rinsed out and like everything up here is wet, but this is pretty much dry Doing this while filming is just a lot. Okay, it's a lot 
But um, so the next part I'm going to be showing you guys is how to shampoo the braids. And there's a way to do it so that you don't, um, you know, mess up the style and have the braids coming out and looking raggedy because nobody want to look raggedy. So then you're gonna, you're gonna take your drop bottle. So I already have your drop, your spray bottle. I already have a little bit of water in here, so I'm going to pour some out. Okay, so it's like half full of water. And then I'm gonna take the um, Dove shampoo and I pour that and some of that into the bottle, like so. I basically use however much I would normally use on my head. Like yeah, you can see you can see how you see there's like shampoo coming out, and then you just rub the scalp. Just rub, 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 rub. Make sure you get everywhere that the scalp is. So see how it's like I'm shampooing the scalp, and I'm not really disturbing the braids. That's what you gotta do, girl. You just move. The next part, you can see like I have some flakes, but those will be gone when we're done this process. Now that my head's all soapy, I like, I just went through like after I sprayed and I like rubbed like that scalp area that's exposed and like kind of rubbed towards the braid. And um, it feels good cause you know like you're massaging your scalp. It feels almost almost like a regular wad. To rinse out the clarifying shampoo. And the next step is to um, use your regular shampoo and do the exact same thing. Or you can just move right on to conditioner if you'd like to do that. So my hair is officially clean. So now no matter what, you can do whatever you really want after this step. I'm with my regular shampoo after that and wash that out. And then I like to go on with my conditioner and then rinse that out. All right, so the next step after you do the clarifying shampoo, like I said, it really is anything that you want to do. For me, I just do the conditioner, so that's the exact same step. So for time purposes, I'm not gonna show you guys the exact same step because, um, you know, it, it's exactly the same thing. You take the spray bottle, you put one part, whatever um, product you wanna use, whether that be shampoo or conditioner, and then you put in one part water. You, you know, shake it up, and then you do the same thing that I just did on my scalp, and, um, then you, if it's conditioner, you know you're just gonna wait a little bit, let the moisture set in, and then wash it out. Um, and then after that, you're all done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this kind of showed you how you can get rid of that like itchiness and the, the burning that may come from the chemicals that are in synthetic hair. And I hope this showed you a way that you can wash your hair without, you know, doing the typical put the shampoo all over it and scrub it without, you know, messing up the braids and disturbing the parts and all of that stuff. So everything I did is completely like, it's a template. You can completely do everything how you want to do it. I hope this was helpful because when I see people do stuff like this, for me, it's very helpful, but I put my own little twist on it to do what works for me. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.